Well, it's not every day that you get to spend time with women tech leaders, but I'm here today utilizing my Sunday for some good use. I'm here uh, standing with this marvelous, beautiful, I'd say, uh, country head of uh, Intel India, Nivrati Rai. She's with me. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Semicon day two. That was quite uh, a motivating uh, speech, I'd say, by you. How does it feel to be here? And first question first, uh, what is it looking like on Intel's uh, India? India plans when it comes to semiconductor manufacturing. Okay, so uh, let me start with uh, I am really proud that uh, India is hosting a semiconductor conference. You know, having grown up in Intel for 28 years, I have seen co the conferences like this happening in Germany, uh, in Japan, even in, in South Korea besides US. So it was a proud moment for us that, uh, you know, we were talking semiconductors. People know that if engineering is difficult, semiconductor design, analog and digital is like the hardest. So proud moment for us. Uh, in terms of what is Intel doing, you know, Intel is, I would feel uh, like uh, the powerhouse as far as compute is concerned and uh, started with compute, got into storage, got into connectivity. So if you think of automotives, uh, we need uh, storage, we need compute and we need connectivity and that's what, uh, you know, uh, inspired me to think of the ACE Trinity, which is uh, AI, connectivity and EV. And, uh, uh, you know, in terms of what my CEO said, he said automotive industry is coming so close to semiconductors. And like I said, you know, by 2030, 20% of the bill of materials will be semiconductors. So clearly, uh, this is a disruption, automotives, which is already happening. And Intel has a lot to offer. So Intel has created, you know, solutions with Mobileye in the past and looking forward to continue its journey to provide automotive solutions um, from, from various, uh, you know, perspectives. Building process technology for automotives and it's very different. You know, you heard about safety, security, temperature, all of those requirements. So building transistors to building IPs, to building SOCs, to building platforms, platforms enabling software such that, you know, differentiation can. So the entire gamut and portfolio of offerings is what Intel is working towards. And I'm very happy to say that I'm part of this, uh, you know, automotive business unit, uh, in fact, le co-leading this uh, for Intel. And, uh, and I think India has amazing role to play. Now, one key, um, I think, quote I'd pick up from what you just said on stage, and that was, uh, it is not about I or me, but it is about us. It is, it is of the collaborative effort. So now government has kept an open-ended policy when it comes to semiconductors, and they've left it to the industry. And Intel is quite, uh, uh, I'd say, the leading player. What do you think the government should focus on when they're keeping in mind of you know, coming out with uh, further policy on semiconductor? Perfect. Uh, amazing question. You know, very va valuable and useful. I really feel the uh, the complete end-to-end -end incentive programs that the government has uh, created, that's an amazing start. Uh, the second thing is, you know, I called out the, the statement that you picked up. It's not about I, it's about we. Not everything India could be excelling in. So there is going to be some areas which we have to partner with people. That's where the us comes into play. And when the us comes into play, it could be strategic partnership at the, uh, at the government level. It could be a JV at the um, industry level, or it could be importing license at the process level. So that next step to bring the us together to drive a consortium is what I would really look forward from us as well as you know government and academia and uh, startups to work on. I really have an aspiration to create a automotive consortium kind of like China drove what is called uh, you know Baidu Apollo. Uh, I want to create a global consortium driven out of India for the automotive segment uh, because India can play a tremendous role like I said you know the world is spending half a trillion for EV and EV batteries to create the value. I think India has a tremendous role to play. I also believe manufacturing of automotive from 5% to 15 to 20, our aspiration should not mean limited to India needs. But can we provide the needs for others? 
uh, and you know many OEMs uh, did not adopt this technology as a result a kind of a little bit behind as compared to Tesla which was not sleeping on the wheels and you know drove the software development kind of a model uh, S software development vehicle kind of a model so I think India has a tremendous role to play government uh, is an enabler but actual doers will be industry academia and entrepreneurs um, I'm going to collect that point and draw key analogy of yet another acronym that you put there that was ACE, ACE. and um, uh, bringing in the point of sustainability and how of course uh, uh, it's also important for major techs to look into that aspect. Now the E in ACE represents EV and we know uh, the recent incidents that you know India is seeing when it comes to EV. How important is it to focus on technology at a pace where such you know disruptions don't happen because uh, I feel it's it's good that we are getting there, but uh, maybe we are not getting there with full efforts. I, I, would that be right to say? Um, I think, you know, I'm really happy at the progress that automotive manufacturing has made uh, in India. And uh, the pace has to be picked up. Why? Because time is now. All of the convergence of technology is happening and there are players who are, you know, leveraging that and we have the capability. The one thing that I would like to uh, say is, you know, I mentioned in my talk, uh, uh, Karishma, is uh, India has often jumped technology generations. And I said, you know, we started with regular wallets, uh, we skipped credit card, we came directly to digital wallets and uh, we enabled our all our uh, you know shopkeepers vendors at all levels and you know the UPI exactly so that's what jandhan uh, aadhar and mobile drove i really believe automotive many things could be skipped you know we are uh, ice combustible engines i don't care about hybrid let's go directly into ev we are ice let's go directly into adas and cas collision avoidance we are automotives. We don't all have to own cars. You know, 5% population owns car. Can I have 95% uh, population be enabled with cars? So new business models. And, uh, and uh, you know, provide the same kind of solutions for the world. I'll tell you, Karishma, what we've done with Jam is a role model. I still struggle with bank transactions, so many things in other countries. And I don't struggle with those in India. So... We have shown leadership, and I think time to show leadership in the automotive space. Jam drove growth for India. Ace will drive growth for the world and India. So that's the goal I have. Thank you very much. I think uh, key two pointers to pick up from uh, you. But before I let you go, one last question. And uh, I've learned that you're good at singing. So I'd like to get a quick glimpse of you for my viewers. Uh, maybe one song that you'd like to dedicate. It's the first Sat Semiconductor Conference. Let's make it iconic. Okay. <laughs> I honestly feel like smiling and laughing. Um, so, you know, I purposely chose Ace. Because not uh, only does it say uh, AI, connectivity, and EV, but ACE is like winning. I'm going to ACE this revolution. So with that in mind, I'm going to sing a simple song. It's not about the song, but it's about the meaning. And the song is... Hamko to hai pura yakin, ham jaisa koi nahi. Hamko to hai pura yakin, ham jaisa koi nahi. हमको तो है पूरा यकीन हम जैसा कोई नहीं हमको तो है पूरा यकीन हम जैसा कोई नहीं विल एस इट Thank you so much for uh, getting that. And who said you can't sing? You were brilliant. Thank you so much for joining us. He is wishing you good luck. And uh, keeping in mind what Intel contributes in India, I think uh, the, the road is, of course, uh, uh, long uh, ahead. And with Semiconductor, we are hoping some magic happen. We will win this marathon. It's not 100 meter, 200 meter, 500 meter. It's a marathon. And we will win. And we will start now. Thank you, Karishma. Thank you. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.